All right, so finally we're going to do a hypothesis testing, and we're going to test this distance for h naught, where the p is equal to zero. Here's our, this is from our formula book at this scenario here, where t equals r square root of this. And the degrees of freedom, because there's two variables, it's n minus 2 this time. And we're going to test the 2% significant level, two percent level of significance where the data set shows significant correlation. And this particular data set we had done previous work on, over here you'll remember, we had come along and we had calculated our correlation coefficient as such. And we can see that here's our values that we have. Okay, so we're going to test hypothesis. So I'm going to say that the null hypothesis is always that rho equals zero. And we want to dispute that. We hope the alternative hypothesis that rho does not equal zero because we want to show there is significant correlation. We don't care if it's positive or negative. We just want correlation. I know that in this case n is five. The degrees of freedom because there's two variables, n minus 2 is going to be 3. And I know that this is my r value here. So t is equal to, oh, note, alpha is equal to 0 0.02. t is equal to r, which is a big, giant, long number, 0 0.98. 0.89. And so on times the square root of n is 5 minus 2 over 1 minus this r value, 0 0.98089 squared. I can throw this in my calculator, and when I do so, I get a value of 8.73. And if I think about my curve, here's my t distribution, which looks fairly normal. I know that 8. 0.73, this is 0, I am looking for this extreme value, and because it's a not equal to, I'm looking for the other extreme value here, these two together. And so I'm going to find my p-value, going to my calculator, I'm going to go to distributions, I'm going to go tcdf, and since I've already done it once, my lower value, I'm going to find this area is 8.73 to a big value. My degrees of freedom is 3, and I paste it in, and I get this area 0 0.00158. I want both of them, so times 2. And so my p-value is simply 0 0.003164. Therefore, the p-value is less than alpha, 0 0.02. I am going to reject H naught and claim a correlation between the two variables. And if I also I could go to statistics and go to tests, if I go and I want to find a linear regression t test, the calculator will do it all for you if you have the data. I know it's an L1 and L2. I'm looking for not zero. This would store the regression equation into y1, so that's optional. It's already there. And I'm going to calculate it. And you'll see the p-value is calculated, the t-value, and so on. And so this is how we can test our last final test of significance for rho is done with this t-value. And this t is the exact same t from previous hypothesis testing.